Thursday we have just docked in Honduras as you will have seen from the video and today we are off on an excursion it is boiling already I mean it is only I think it's 10 o'clock ship time so that's eight o'clock Honduras time but obviously we go by the ship time as I've mentioned before so our excursion is at 11 45 so we've just got ourselves organized I had breakfast don't know if you can hear that noise in the background but basically since we docked like three hours ago the people outside have been continuously going singing and playing singing and playing the drums so we I don't know what's the situation whether we're gonna get off now or what but we haven't got super long to wait until the excursion but yeah if you're new around here welcome to the channel my name is Hannah and make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up before it starts and if you aren't subscribed then please make sure to smash the subscribe button down below and then follow along with this vlog series normally I do kind of different types of videos but because we're on holiday all my holidays will be vlog series because that's what I used to do so I'm still sticking to that a little bit so we're now headed off the boat I will show you outside quickly before we go and then come along with us on our excursion day to the beach there's a lot of people so we're off on an excursion I need to take a lot of sun cream and we will be good to go to our excursion oh my gosh yes it's not fogging up so we're off to the excursion <laughs> here's the board <laughs> how cool this bar is Phil bar shops <laughs> and we're off I think it's a 15 minute journey so I will show you when we get there are you hot very hot. Can you see me? Yeah. It's like a million degrees. It said 33 degrees and we were like leaving on the big TV. So it's going to be a hot day today. But it's lunchtime. So although it's not lunchtime, it's only 10. So it's only going to get hotter. excursion which is called the Seoul Weimar Beach Club is it? The best bit about it is that there's swings in the sea. Look at that. Oh the breeze is a treat. It's not too sunny now either so it's all right but the water has got like loads of greeny bits of seaweed in so I've just come out the sea and I don't know if you can see on my arm. I've got all this lovely gathering on my arm so yeah we're here till 3 15 and then we're gonna go back to the port. I've just got in the sea. Lou won't get in because he's not a fan of the sea, which you all know, but it's not very deep. I'm like, to, I'm currently like sitting on the sand, it's that low down because it only comes up to your ankles. But there are quite some big fish, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to see some fish. I mean, I may not, but I've seen like a few couple of big ones. And there's jet skis and there's kayaks. The sea is literally like a bar. It's so nice. But yeah. This is a nice excursion. It only costs $24 per person. We just bought a cocktail, a beer, and a water, and that also was $20. So they had a $64 a person one, which included all inclusive alcohol, but we we're like, we don't need that. So we've only actually spent the price of one person and both managed to get three drinks included as well. So winner. <laughs> We are leaving the beach. Bye beach. Thanks for a lovely day. FYI, the cocktails were like $20, so that's not too bad, but we're off. They've got a restaurant here, swings in the trees. They've got a bar. It's very relaxing. And now, but we literally only had three hours here, so, but it was only $20 a person, so well worth it. Okay, are we ready to rumble? Let's go. Let's go. So we are back at port now, safe and sound, hallelujah. But we have now found this little cool bar, which is literally in the port section. There is the ship, right there. Basically, he was the guy who was saying that they're expanding the port to make it bigger. 
which makes sense because this is a really super small port so there's not actually much to do here at the moment however they're going to make it a lot bigger but there is another port which is for uh, carnival cruises but hopefully this one in the future will be really really big so yeah but we're back at the port safe and sound this has got this beer which is actually a beer of Honduras because it's got like their flag and everything and I've got a margarita and also all my Insta stories are taking so long to flipping upload come on Like that we are leaving Honduras it is so pretty also I'm so burnt <laughs> oh my gosh my face is so burnt look how pretty it is the sun setting it's absolutely beautiful wow I just said to Lou out of all of the islands that we've been to on all the cruises this is literally the prettiest one Oh. oh my gosh. We've been before, it's now 8 o'clock already, like time flies. And our dinner's at 8 and we've managed to get ready super quick. I've literally had no time to sort my hair out, so I've gone for like this hair band thing which is meant to be dangly but I've done a bow because you know why not but we've literally just got like 10 minutes I think till dinner so it was like a quick get ready and all that jazz and then we've got dinner where we had dinner the first night so tonight's outfit is again something that was in the April favourites video which is another Zara outfit this is the outfit very yellow and we are eating in the coastal kitchen tonight which is where we ate on the first night so yeah we need to hurry up because we're gonna be late otherwise but Ta-da! Also, I don't know what this island is, if it's still Honduras, but... Pardon? Oh, it's the same as when we left. But we've just moved further away from it. Thank you, Liz. So, yeah, we are still we can still see Honduras in the distance, but... Yeah, we're on to Mexico now. The sea looks um, a bit more wavy tonight as well. Did you notice that? But you still can't feel it, which is really, really weird. So let's go to town. And come with us and all that jazz room. since dinner because all we've done is sit in the English pub and watch basketball so I haven't had much tree but this is down here is deck five and it is the Royal Promenade which is like all the bars there's a pizza restaurant I don't really know if I fully explain this so to your left is the Shuna bar is it Shuna and then this here is the um, up and the bar that rising tide here is the place where you can check your photos, which is also deck six. And then down below is more bars. You've got a pizza restaurant, a coffee shop, guest services. You've got, what else have you got? English pub, there's a karaoke bar, there's another bar. But this is like the main area where everything goes on. Like earlier there was a 90s party. But it's pretty empty right now, so I thought, oh, and there's also a robot bar which is pretty much just below where we are but as you can see it's pretty much nearly midnight and there's still people out and about so this ship compared to Disney is never quiet oh and the jewelers we've got what else we've got Katie Spade also the shops are open it's like midnight it's crazy because in Disney we'll be fast fast asleep so yeah I just thought I'd show you guys before we go to bed so it is now midnight we are going to bed very late on this cruise however i'm staying up because i don't know if you can hear in the background we was walking along basically around the ship i said to Lou, should we just quickly have a stroll on the top deck past the hot tub and stuff before we go back to bed or back to the room and we got to the hot tub 
and the best TV show was on ever. And I was like, this better be on when we get in the room because I'm gonna wet myself. And I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely serious. I can't even believe it. We're on the cruise of freaking Sabrina the Teenage Witch is on. This is life made. Like this was my favourite TV show ever, and I can still, I'm still obsessed with it now. I mean, it's so old, but I love this show. I can't believe it's on. <laughs> we were just talking about, I know this is totally off like relation for what the videos are about. Anybody who's watching this is like the same age as me. Does anybody remember like back in the day, Nickelodeon, Sundays, they had a vote what like your whole day was gonna be. Was it gonna be Sabrina? Or was it gonna be Keenan and Kel? And you had to vote and then literally like Sabrina obviously would win. Not always, but then the whole day would be Sabrina. Oh, do you remember them days? I hope someone watching this was the same because that was a great time in life and I cannot believe it's midnight and Sabrina's on like oh my gosh I'm not even drunk by the way I'm just very excited about this situation what happens when it finishes I hope they're gonna put another one on it's, I want to be up at 6 45 to go to the gym tomorrow as well but if they put another Sabrina on I'm gonna be up till like 1 a.m. anyway Side note from that, we've had a really nice night. The dinner tonight, I know I didn't speak, but we ate at Coastal Kitchen. The main that I had tonight, which was a flounder crusted, no, a crab crust, crab crusted flounder. Possibly was the best main I've had on the cruise the whole time. Lucy's steak was cooked to perfection. Like the food has been really, really good. One of my biggest concerns prior to getting on this cruise was the food. When in fact I shouldn't have been worried. The food's been great. There's not been any complaints about the food. I've really, really enjoyed it. I think Lou's also really enjoyed it. We've just eaten and drunk so much food. We just looked on Lou's because our TV shows like our running account so that we can check we're not spending anything. Basically everything's included other than our tips. So I go on it every night just to check that nothing's been added like extra drinks, etc but nothing has and like lose account I won't have 53 drinks in four nights five nights and obviously one will be the same so it's, it's yeah 53 drinks in four five nights I mean at least we're making the most out of our drinks package so anyway <laughs> I'm gonna go to bed tomorrow we dock in Costa Maya is it Costa Maya? So we're already up at Costa Maya at 7.30 and we're only there till 2.30 because we have to get back to the um, back to Florida on S Sunday. So we are going to go to the gym super early, which is why we're getting up early. And then we're going to get off, check out the port. They have a swimming pool in this port, which is insane. And then we'll get back on the ship tomorrow. So I will see you all tomorrow. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button down below. And I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.